you know, I mean, someone said about the, the, the Psalms, that, that, you know, in the rest of the Bible, God speaks to us. But in the Psalms, it's as though God speaks for us. And that is such a characteristic of the Psalms. Um, the thing that actually inspired me to, to write the book, I was asked to write the book on that subject. Um, and I said, I, th I think I may be able to do it, but I want to do it in this particular way. And one of the things that inspired me to do it that way was I had contact with a, a, a fairly eminent Christian in the United States uh, who was a psychiatrist. I had contact uh, with him because we'd spoken at the same conference. And he was a man who himself had gone through a period of pretty considerable affliction and, and I think quite serious personal depression. And I remember him saying, so this is a psychiatrist who is able to analyze his condition. He knows what's going on in his life. But he said, you know what really brought me through the process of moving from a, a paralyzing depression to functioning in a, in a normal way and coping with the fact that I had struggled with this was I gave myself to the serious study of scripture. And I think there are, there, are, there are probably many reasons that that was the case, but one of the reasons I think was that over this period of time as he gave himself to the study of scripture, the scriptures themselves drew him out of his melancholy and his sense of depression. They, they gave him a larger sense of who God is. Um, the scripture showed him that God knew what he was going through the scriptures taught him he wasn't the first person. And the scriptures also pointed him to the divine remedies and the divine stabilizers. And um, this happened almost without him noticing it. Um, and sometimes I think we can say to Christians, well, look, here are the principles that you need to know in order to deal with this. But when really the better way is to use those principles without saying, learn these principles, to use those principles so that by the experience of their power, they begin to learn what those principles are and can apply them to their own lives. And so I thought the obvious way to do this was to take a series of Psalms that speak about uh, the struggles that the Psalmist has for a variety of reasons and trace the Psalmist's life going down the turning points, which in a sense are really here are the divine strategies that bring us to be able to cope. And, you know, I think the scriptures are honest enough to notice, as you see sometimes in the psalm, the psalmist will take two steps up, but then he'll take a step back. Um, and, for example, they really help us to see that because we've taken a step back does not mean that we're back to square one. Um, and the Psalms so often teach us, this is what you need to know about God, not by saying you need to read the systematic theology, but look at what God is like. And one of the things that does for me is it, it raises my eyes away from myself. Whereas discouragement, suffering, you know, melancholy, depression, they all have this tendency to force me to look into myself and the resources are not to be found in myself, they're to be they're to be found in God.